Hello guys, long time no vlog. I've actually vlogged multiple times and I didn't like the footage so I never posted it. And I also have, this laptop isn't really new anymore, I've had it for like a month or two, but I got the new MacBook Pro and they took away all of the USB slots and SD ports. So I have to buy a hub for my laptop so I can actually edit my video and then post it. But I thought I would vlog today. It is Sunday. I am working 2 to 8. It is November 4th and I'm get ready. I'm words. I'm getting ready to leave. So I do intern. Um, don't mind my room. I haven't had time to clean it because I literally have been busy 24-7. But the top that I'm wearing is from Shein. The leather jacket I'll be wearing is also from Shein. I finally got some new Converse. Um, God, my room, it, it looks even worse on camera than in person. This belt is from Shein, and these jeans are from Monotiques. So, I am about to head out. I've basically got all of my stuff ready. I haven't used this camera in a hot minute, so I'm trying to figure out how the focus thing works. Um, so, with me, I just bring my Beats, my laptop, a water bottle, my wallet, and then usually a charger, and then obviously I have my badge to get into the building. Oh, this past week has been insane. I'm thinking I'll probably do a weekly vlog today, just to like kick things off. You guys can actually see what I'm doing. I have a pretty busy week. Last week wasn't too busy for interning up until Thursday. This is my fourth day in a row working. So I worked Thursday eight to two, Friday 12 to 6, Saturday was oh, 6 to 12, except I had to stay till 1 because stuff wasn't done and we were the only ones there. It was really just me and this other guy. There were a bunch of technical issues happening. It was terrible. 10 out of 10 would not do again. And then today I work 2 to 8. No. Oh my god. I almost had a heart attack. My car says 157 because it was daylight savings. So the hours are crazy because it is for sports. I intern at NBC Sports. If you're new here, hello. Um, I basically work nights 24 seven. So most of the shifts are either seven to one right after class or eight to two in the morning. So it's been rough. I am taking 15 credits. I'm a full-time college student, and then I'm doing this. I'm also looking for jobs right now because I graduate in December, so there's just a lot going on, so I apologize for my absence, words, on YouTube, but I can't make it a priority right now because I need to focus on finishing up <laughs> my last semester and uh, hopefully getting employed. Hi, thank you. Have a good day. You too. So the Redskins play today and I'm actually a Caps girl, so I'm not quite sure what they're going to have me do, but it should be interesting nonetheless. That garage is nice because it's literally like a two minute walk away, so when I leave super late, if no one else is leaving with me, it's fine. I'm also in Bethesda, so there's usually no issues in general. Follow me on Instagram. This is where all of my photos are taken. In the bathroom. So I come here to cry. No, I'm kidding. Um, but yeah, so. And it's actually nice. They have like this little basket. I used this when I was getting ready for Halloween. Insert picture of me on Halloween. Um, because there's like hairspray in here and like everything. Literally seconds before I got on this elevator, it was like blinking and beeping. So if I get stuck in here, then you know, that's good. I'm just going to grab some food. Um, it's not moving. Oh, there we go. Uh, so I think I'm gonna get Ann Pizza. There's an Ann Pizza and a Chipotle, like three minute walk away. And I'm starving. It's five o'clock, so I have three more hours. Redskins just finished playing. I did some Raven stuff, 
and we have the wizards, I think. <laughs> Happy Monday. I'm leaving for the gym here in a second. I just need to eat something real quick. I've got this top on by um, Gain Sportswear that I bought at my friend's powerlifting competition like a month ago. So I'll link his Instagram down below if you guys want to check it out. He has a lot of like really nice equipment. He has knee sleeves, he has wrist wraps, he has um, tops and... I think he might have like one hoodie type thing. So I got this, I did crop it cause I crop everything, but I really do like it. I wear a size extra small, I believe in all of the tops. So if you guys want to support someone in the DMV, check out his Instagram, but I am getting ready to leave here. One of my classes was already canceled, which is actually amazing. So <clears throat> I only have my 3.30 to 4.45 which is nice because I can go to the gym and then I can go to class and then I can just go home because I normally have another one from 6.30 to whenever. He usually lets us out around 8, so it's not a super like high commitment class, but still class nonetheless. I have some Captain Crunch berries. I'm not really tracking right now, but I am kind of just paying attention to what I am eating because I'm still trying to continuously gain weight. That's been my goal since the very beginning, so nothing has changed there. I'm trying to figure out whether or not I want to get coffee today or if I just want to go to GNC and pick up a bang. This is like 250 calories, and then I'm going to have some of these donut holes that my dad picked up because I have zero self-control. These are from Walmart, so I'm just going to have four of them, eat these in the car. It's 220 calories for four which I don't know. I personally think that is kind of a lot considering how small they are, but I don't know. Maybe I just don't know the relativity of donuts because I don't really eat them. Under my skin, under my chin, no mercy. What you mean the chest took what's in yours wasn't worth it. Violence is likely to make us violent, but that it's likely to make us more scared of violence being done to us. It is now 4.55. It is actually so cold outside. Um, it is currently, <laughs> okay, it's really not that cold. It's 51 degrees, but actually it feels like 52. Whatever, I'm cold, it's raining. I'm not having a great time. So we are going to most likely head to McDonald's. The worst thing about not having, hello, Please focus on me. The worst thing about not having a class after this one is actually that now I have to just sit in traffic, which is not great. So I'm gonna grab some food from McDonald's. I have McDonald's app. I recommend not getting any food apps on your phone because they notify you about stuff. And McDonald's has deals. Like I can get a medium or small fry for a dollar once a week. So they, they know what they're doing. That's all I'm gonna say. There is an accident behind me. That's the way I wanted to go, but obviously we're not gonna go that way anymore. So I can still get to McDonald's from here. It's just annoying, but like there's literally an ambulance and two police cars at the light. It is going to be so backed up. So luckily I was like in a position where I could make a turn over here, which is technically illegal, but gotta do what you gotta do. Yikes, yep, here comes an ambulance. This is a mess. And no one can even move. <laughs> I 
I've got a little bit of time, so I just had some Captain Crunch for breakfast. I'm also gonna have some avocado just with some salt and some pepper, but I'm gonna go ahead and just meal prep some tofu along with what I've been eating. I've been eating this for like weeks on end at this point. I don't know how I'm not bored of it yet, but it is the yellow Thai curry by Street Kitchen. I get this from Walmart. It's like $4, so it's insanely cheap, and they give you the paste, the coconut milk, and then like this spice packet that comes with it. So I season my tofu with Old Bay garlic powder, onion powder, a little bit of pepper, and then sometimes if I just have like another random assortion for seasonings, I'll add that too. And then I usually let that cook for about 15 minutes and then all you have to do is just pour all of this right on top of it. I don't have time to make rice. So today we are going to try my cauliflower rice for the first time. Thank you. You too. I absolutely love this program so far. It's kind of fun. It's pretty hard, which I like, like, but it's doable. It's not like too hard where it's like too heavy. It's just like a lot of volume. So yeah, I don't know. I think it's going to help me fill out my legs a little bit more. That's one of my main focuses and also just like my upper body. In general, I've got a little tiny pump right now. I had one bicep exercise, one tricep exercise, and then I was doing some ab stuff, so I like low-key activated my um, lats. And then obviously I did lifted, which includes some quads, especially for those paws. However, I have like a rug burn basically from the barbell. So if you are going to do pause deadlifts, I would wear leggings because after you pause where the bar is, you're naturally going to kind of grind it up your thighs and it hurts like a bitch, so. Maybe you should get saluted and stuff, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's, what, that's what we do to my mom. Sense. She's a chief. I am home now. I voted. I don't know where my voted sticker is, but I'll put like a little thing on the screen. Um, it was so weird because I actually went to my elementary school, which I haven't been to since my brother was in like fourth grade and he's now a freshman in college so it was really weird being there everything seems so small but I'm gonna attempt to try because I actually have a date and I thought you know we'd fix what's happening here all I've done are my eyebrows and then mascara I'm not wearing any face makeup or anything of the sort I'm not gonna put any on either I haven't been wearing foundation actually but I have all of these new palettes from BoxyCharm because I guess they put me on their PR list so I've been getting stuff like monthly and they sent this one out this month and this palette is amazing. It was like a gold themed box and the colors are like incredible. It's almost like too pigmented. And then I also love this palette which I got in the month before that. It's just a bunch of neutral shades so I highly recommend both of them. I'll link both of them down below if I remember. If not, just ask me and I will. But I'm just gonna go ahead and just do something, do something chill. I don't like to go too overboard because to be honest, I don't wanna give any false expectations of what I'm gonna look like on a daily basis, but also because I'm lazy. I'm gonna take this warm brown, put that in the crease, and then for the lid, I'm gonna mix jasmine with primrose because that's pretty it'll be kind of like a goldish copper shade if you guys can see um the colors are pretty warm tone which is what i tend to do so it kind of makes the most sense for me like i said it is super pigmented so i don't really need that much so i'm not really i'm not a beauty guru anymore so please don't mind me and the lighting in here is like super bad but i know what it looks like because i do my makeup in here all the time and then i go ahead and take a darker brown shade probably just this one so i'm just gonna use this little this one <laughs> this one i wish these all had mirrors like you know when an eyeshadow palette doesn't come with a mirror i'm just kind of like what is the point so i'm gonna place that there i'm not really gonna blend it out or anything because now with my mirrorless palette i'm gonna go ahead and take those two shades mix them together and just put them all over my lid whenever i wear a lot of eye makeup 
to be honest, I have to wear eyeliner. So I'm going to use this gel liner, which I also got from a BoxyCharm and use this brush that I also got. This is not sponsored by BoxyCharm. Um, but I'm just going to use this little like pointy brush and apply this just a thin line across. I'm going to do this off camera. I'm sorry. So I feel like that already 100% looks a thousand times better. So this is a mascara by It Cosmetics. This stuff is amazing. I got this in last month's box. I'm pretty sure it was. It's funny because BoxyCharm actually used to send me stuff back in the day and I did like some videos for them. But they didn't have a lot of stuff that worked with my skin tone. So I stopped working with them because I just felt like it was kind of a waste. And a lot of people who watched my makeup tutorials had darker skin because that tends to that tends to be how it goes with makeup tutorials. Now I still watch makeup tutorials with people who had lighter skin, darker skin, super, super pale skin. I just knew I couldn't use some of the colors that they used. So for like eye looks, I feel like anyone can do that. But for a lot of the stuff, like they were sending me these like bright pink lipsticks and I mean every single person of every race, you can wear whatever colors you want, but they were like all the products at that time, like two and a half years ago, they were all tailored to people with like fair skin. I'm gonna add a little bit of powder, which I'm gonna use kind of as a bronzer. And I'm just using this brush from Luxie. I think they've sent me a couple Luxie brushes. Um, big, big fan. This is my favorite palette. I would actually buy this. It's by Pure, but unfortunately one of the pans fell out, but the contour shades are actually a little bit too dark for me. So if you've got darker skin, this might be the palette for you because the highlights are pretty good. The contours are just a little bit too red toned for me, to be honest. And then I'm gonna go ahead and highlight with the highlighter in here. That is the makeup. I'm gonna go ahead and just straighten my hair now, most likely, because that's like the easiest thing to do. And then I need to figure out what to wear. So this is my outfit. Top's from Shein. Jeans are from Fashion Nova. And then I just have my hair straight. So I cleaned my room, kind of, um, because the cleaners are coming. So I like to just get everything out of the way to make their life easier. I am not going to my class today because I am working the Caps and Penguins game later. Fingers crossed. My supervisor is double checking to make sure that they have my credentials so I can get in okay. I don't have a definite spot in the press box, so he has to double check, but he said I can basically sit anywhere, just bring my laptop dress warm so I'm excited for that but it's only 11:20, so I am going to head to just my local library because I have a presentation for my PR class tomorrow that I need to do which won't take that long we're just using Satori and then I have a paper that's due tomorrow hi I've been on the go for Lauren R thank you I swear they know me So the cleaners were supposed to get here like two hours ago, but they just got here now. So I literally left on purpose so that they could be here and I wouldn't be here. It's fine. So I'm just looking at um, places to park. I use this website called Spot Hero. Um, this is not sponsored. <laughs> My mom showed it to me. And you can just look at garages near you and find the one that makes the most sense. So I think I'm gonna do this one. $15 by me parked till 3 a.m. So. Call brother. One job, Jesus. Yeah. Hi, can you move my your car? Yeah. Okay, thank you. All right, it is 4:20. Blaze it. I'm going to the Caps game, so I'll see you later. Um. So yeah, I have brought. I didn't eat my fajitas because I forgot. So I have them here. Um, not quite the same cold and in my car, but I have a feeling I'm going to be sitting in a bit of traffic. 
so it's probably for the best. So my life's a joke and I don't have any gas. So I'm in Columbia right now, which is super unfortunate because they have the most expensive gas in the area. It's like being in DC. I don't really know why they think they can do this. We're really not that high end, but that's where I'm getting gas. It's annoying because at home, gas is like two, 50. And over here, using my app, I use the app Get Upside. Um, it's amazing. You just get cash back on paying for gas like you normally would. Their gas is $2.99. Luckily, I save nine cents with Get Upside. So basically, I'll get nine cents back every gallon. Now, I'm not going to fill up that much. Um, I really don't need that much gas, but I need enough to get there and get back because I'm not buying gas in DC because I don't have money for that. Champions do fall, champions do. Been through a lot of pain in my life and I pray the Lord take it all away. <laughs>